Welcome to CPS Today. Thank you again for your prayerful support for us. Thank you also if you gave to our recent Easter appeal and if you successfully booked a youngster onto one of our Ventures or Falcons for this summer, bookings are now open. Um, well done. We hope and pray they have an absolutely fantastic um, summer holiday with us. You may be aware that one of our aspirations at the moment can be summarised in this phrase, every church a pathway to faith. Of course, it raises the questions, how will that happen and what can we pray to help it to happen? Well, in Luke 24, we read something that's going to help us here. And in verses 36 and onwards, Jesus stands amongst the disciples in those few days after his resurrection. And he says to them, peace be with you. Then he says, see my hands and feet, the scars of crucifixion. And then he says, have you anything to eat? And he takes and eats fish to prove that he's not a ghost, but he is really risen from the dead. And two things follow and are explained for us by Jesus in the few verses that Luke records before he finishes his gospel. Firstly, Jesus says, well, all this has happened in order that repentance and forgiveness of sins might be offered to men, women and children everywhere. And secondly, he says to the, those assembled and to us, the church, and I want you to be my witnesses. Do you know, in short, that's how every church, a pathway to faith, will come about. It will come about when churches uh, are quite literally a bunch of people who witness to what they know of the risen Lord Jesus. Churches will become pathways to faith when they become places where people are called to repent of their sins and forgiveness in the name of Christ is offered. So in short, folks, that's what I'd love to invite you to pray today and this week as you partner with CPAS. Will you pray for every single church that we work with? Will you pray for the church that you're part of? Will you pray for the people who belong um, and worship in the church buildings that you see in your area? Will you pray that um, under the grace and goodness of God, they might increasingly be able to step up to their mandate, their commission to be witnesses to what they know to be true? And will you pray particularly for the leaders that they will have the courage to offer the forgiveness of sins that is made possible after repentance of faith and through faith in Christ? I'm sure that you would want with us to see every church a pathway to faith and together by the grace of God we may be able to help that to happen. So thank you for your prayers. Never stop praying for the bride of the Lord Jesus, the local church. Uh, and I'll talk to you soon. And in the meantime, thank you again for your prayers, your interest, your support. God bless and take care.